Hello everyone, it's Sack here and today I'm going to review the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now let's go on with the review. First of all, we've got the phone itself. We've got the beautiful 4.27 inch QVGA Super AMOLED Plus screen. I mean the colour on this are absolutely fantastic. It reproduces blacks and white really well. And it just the black on this is just like outstanding. The picture quality is very nice and pleasing. I would say it's better than the iPhone's um, retina display. Well, it de definitely looks better. Moving on, we have a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a proximity and ambient sensors at the top. Um, we've got the we've got the Android button with the two um, capacitive buttons, so the usual three Android um, buttons. On the side, we've got a um, volume rocker up and down. On the other side, we've got the um, power on button and lock screen button. At the top, we have a mic and a 3.5mm um, headphone jack. At the bottom, if you can see, here we have the micro USB port and another mic, so the sound quality is excellent. I mean, I've tried and tested, I think it's 10 phone calls altogether, and um, some at home, some whilst I was, well, I can't really say, I wasn't driving. My dad was driving, but I was um, using the phone. It's pretty good. The sound, um, it never loses any voice. Like when I was speaking to um, my mates, they said, whoa, is this actually a mobile phone? They thought it was a landline or something. That's how clear the sound was. So, yeah, on that point, obviously a phone needs to make good phone calls. So that's a massive plus point. Um, with, yeah, so with two microphones, that helps a lot. We've, at the back, we've got um, the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. Now the good thing is it also records 1080p full 30, uh, at 30 frames per second so the video quality on this is absolutely excellent. Um, we've got the speaker here at the bottom, it's a very good speaker. I mean the old Samsung phones like um, the Toco and them lot, they should have bad speaker quality but this one is definitely a major major improvement. Let me open the back up and show you. This part, this is actually quite flimsy but for me when you put it on it's fine so it's not really a bother for me really so but here we have the sim card slot and if you can see we've got the battery here the battery is I think it's 1650 milliamp something like that yeah it should be 1650 can't see it here let me see yeah 16.50 milliamps and we've also got micro SD card slot here so it's not hot swappable one of the main one of the things I'm gonna do now is put the battery back and do a cold boot and let's see how long it takes to load up. Okay, let me just connect this. Bear with me please. If it's on pretty easily, I just have to check if it's actually on properly. Don't know how it's tied up by itself. Probably pressed it. As you can see, it's on already. So, how long is that? Even if I pressed it a couple of seconds before, maximum 15 seconds, 10 seconds. It's a very, very quick phone. It's got 1.2 gigahertz um, Samsung processor, the socket on chip, and also to accompany that, it's got another massive one gigabyte of RAM. So, applications, movies, watching um, pictures, music, everything just super lightning quick. Look at this for in instance, swapping through home screens. I mean it's super quick. No delay at all if I go to applications. Super quick, super quick. Pinch and zoom. This phone is absolute beast. Not only that, for all your media, fa media fans, this also has 16 gigabyte of internal storage, so that is absolutely amazing. Not only that, you've obviously got the micro SD card slot. So another 32 gigabytes in total. So in total, we can have 48 gigabytes of media storage on here. So that is pretty darn good. Let's go. App let's do the quadrants test if I can find it here. Here it is. I think I've got some things running in the background, but let's go ahead and check it out anyway. One full benchmark.
steady at 50 frames per second, so that's pretty good. It's nearly finished. Yes. So it's got a score of, I'm not sure if you can see this, 3127. Yeah, so this is, I mean, very, very quick phone. Also demonstrate, I'll also demonstrate the internet um, experience on this. If I can find it. Internet. It's very quick, snappy. Got Google here. I know there's, there's, you can easily zoom it in, the zoom, but another functionality I like of this phone is basically, I think it uses the gyroscope. If you hold down two, two thumbs of fingers, if you like, and if you just move the phone up or down, can you see it? It's actually zooming in while I'm moving, zooming in and out. So if I move forward, it's zooming out. If I move backwards, if you can see, is actually zooming in, it's zoomed into the maximum now, and you've got the usual pinch, pinch to zoom. Now let's go ahead and open up a web page. As you can see, it's also got the swipe functionality. So if I bring it closer, I can just go E N G A D G E D, which obviously spells N gadget. As you can see, forgot to put the full stop there though. So ngadget.com whoops loads up very quick and um, this is the mobile um, mobile display I think yeah let me go to mobile view let's go to desktop with the volume up sounds on yeah as you can see, it's like a normal desktop. It's displaying everything. It has flash support, so it displays flash content. And look, it's very, very, very smooth. Look how fast it is. One swipe, and it goes all the way down. Another swipe. Whoops. Another swipe, all the way up. Not all the way up, midway through, though. Yeah, but it loads everything very quickly. Let me try one more website. Let's try IGN. IGN. Yep, so that's loaded with ease. I mean, no problem at all. It's, uh, let me go on full site again. Yeah, and there's a the full site. I mean, excellent, excellent. It's like watching uh, this website on a full desktop. You can also open up windows, like um, new tabs. If I open a new window and I'll open up YouTube. This is obviously the mobile view, but we can go ahead and go to the full desktop view. Here we go. Loads up everything like a dream. So that's it really. Um, I'll be covering more of the function of this phone's functionality in other videos, but this is basically um, a review and outlook of the actual phone itself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, then please comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, if you haven't already checked my unboxing video out, then please go ahead and do so. Um, I'll provide the link in the description box. And um, if you want to know more about this phone, more specification, also, I'll also have a link on the Samsung website so you can have a look at the phone's proper specs and in detail. Thank you very much for watching this video.